Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I've been feeling kind of sick the past couple days. I didn't go to the doctor yesterday because they were closed. Luckily, it's only a cold and a sore throat and not some kind of terminal illness, so there's that. I have been slowly getting better, but every time I get sick, I just wonder how I got sick in the first place. But I know I didn't leave the fridge open overnight. Suds is the episode where Spongebob got sick with the suds after leaving the refrigerator open overnight. Like Sleepy Time, this episode aired on January 17, 2000, and it parodies factors that cause some children to be afraid of the doctor's office. Also, it has been stated that Tom Kenny, the voice actor of Spongebob, was actually sick himself while recording his lines for this episode. Wow, that sounds like the perfect fate. This definitely helped make Spongebob sound sick as well, but personally, I feel that Tom Kenny is talented enough that he still could have made Spongebob sound sick even if Kenny himself wasn't sick. This is also the first time that Hans, the live action hand from the theme song, appears in an actual episode, so that's pretty cool to me. I love that character. But that's irrelevant. This episode is loved by a lot of fans, so let's watch it and see how good it is. So the episode starts up and Spongebob is sleeping. He's having a dream where it's raining Krabby Patties, and while he's eating them, he wakes up to find he's chewing on his pillow. He sneaks past Gary to go down to the kitchen for a midnight snack. He makes the peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich and falls back asleep immediately, but the fridge was left open. So either Spongebob's fridge doesn't have a beeping alarm when it's left open for too long, or Spongebob slept right through the beeping alarm. The next morning, Spongebob's house was all icy. When Spongebob woke up, he closed the fridge and slipped back up to his room and was shivering to death. He started to feel sick, and while Gary thought he had a cold, Spongebob said he doesn't get a cold and gets the suds instead, meaning that when he sneezes, bubbles come out of him. Gary tries to get Spongebob to stay home and rest, but Spongebob stubbornly goes to the Krusty Krab anyway. At the Krusty Krab, Mr. Krab sees how pale Spongebob is, and Gary tells him he has the suds. Now that is the perfect pet. One that can just show up out of nowhere and tell his owner's friends what's wrong with his owner. Mr. Krabs sends Spongebob home because of all his sneezing, and the customers freak out when they overhear this and run away. Back at home, Spongebob decides to take care of it before it gets worse, so he calls Sandy to take him to the doctor, and she agrees. Spongebob dressed warmly, and Patrick arrived at the door. Spongebob tells Patrick about how he's sick and is going to the doctor, but Patrick says that he knows a guy who knows a guy who went to the doctor and stated it was horrible. He said that the doctor makes you sit in the waiting room and read old magazines. Actually, they don't make you read old magazines. You make that decision yourself. Some of my friends used to play on their Game Boy Advance or Nintendo DS while sitting in waiting rooms with kids. Patrick says the doctor pulls out a stethoscope and states that it's so cold it tss when it touches their skin. Oh wow, a stethoscope, a tool where doctors hear patients' heartbeats. So terrifying. All these explanations made Spongebob become scared of the doctor, so he asked Patrick to be his doctor for him, and Patrick agreed. Later, when Patrick examined Spongebob, he plugged up all his holes with corks to prevent bubbles from coming out. This only made the bubbles from his sneezing get blocked up, and he got bigger and bigger. But Spongebob did think the treatment was working, so he decided to call Sandy to tell him to cancel their trip to the doctor. But his fingers were too big for the buttons, so Patrick called Sandy for him. But Sandy was still coming over anyway despite Patrick's objections. This caused Patrick to panic and he tried all sorts of ways to heal Spongebob, like making his foot into a peanut butter sandwich, yanking a tooth out, jumping on him, and putting on and ripping off a band-aid. But nothing worked. Later on, Sandy arrived and Spongebob sneezed again and turned into a giant round ball. Patrick tried to sneak Spongebob away and disguised him as a mobile version of his house, but Sandy didn't buy it. I don't blame her. As much as I love this part of the episode, I would kill to see a house stand up and walk on its own in real life, especially if it was my own house. Sandy says that Spongebob needs to see a real doctor and uses Spongebob's ecosystem damaging breath as further proof of this. Sandy tries to take Spongebob to the doctor, leading to a standoff between her and Patrick, which results in them accidentally flinging Spongebob into the air. While they were arguing, Spongebob started rolling out of control towards Bikini Bottom and heads straight towards the Krusty Krab. Luckily, he stopped just in time, but he let out a sneeze so powerful it destroyed the Krusty Krab, much to Mr. Krabs' annoyance. 
SpongeBob finally went to the doctor, and the purple doctor fish proved everything Patrick said about the doctor wrong by giving him the sponge treatment, which is where Hans finally comes into play. Wow, this late in the episode? The sponge treatment involved using SpongeBob like an actual sponge to clean various objects, and this made SpongeBob very happy. SpongeBob came out feeling as good as new and stated he loved the doctor, and Hans gave him a comedically big lollipop. Patrick wanted a lollipop himself, so he pretended to have the suds too, so the doctor gave Patrick a special treatment as punishment for scaring Spongebob with the medical related lies. Hans put soap on him and used him to scrub a cactus, followed up with a toilet, and the episode ends. So that was suds, and I feel that this is a great episode. There are so many great moments here. One of my favorite moments was the scene with Patrick and Sandy talking about Patrick's second house because their banter with the lines like, Since when do you have two houses? And, This is my mobile home, are really funny. The square up between Patrick and Sandy is also pretty good. Another favorite scene of mine was Sandy's analogy about being faster than a barefoot jackrabbit on a hot greasy griddle in the middle of August. It goes on and on and on and it's just so funny. There are a lot of other moments I love too, like the customers at the Krusty Krab freaking out, Spongebob slipping all over the ice in his house, the sponge treatment itself, and the list goes on and on. Hans is also a pretty cool character too. I love seeing him appear in episodes outside the main title sequence, and this is no exception. After watching this episode critically, I honestly can't really find any flaws in it, and it's great all the way through. As somebody who loves every episode of Spongebob equally, Even the bad ones? In my opinion, I'd say that this episode is one of the best episodes of Season 1. Season 1 has a lot of great episodes, don't get me wrong, but there's still a lot to love about this episode. There's a lot of fans that really love this episode. People often bring this up whenever they ask me to name the Spongebob episodes by title and number, and even my mom said that this is one of her favorites too. Of course, it's not frowned upon if you're an adult and like Spongebob, but I was a baby when the show started, and even when I grew up to be a grown-ass man, I still stayed a fan my whole life. My mom was also an adult throughout the entire series run, and she still loves this episode, which is still cool in my opinion. Of course, the part where Gary shows up out of nowhere at the Krusty Krab is awesome too. Scenes like that are so quick and random, and I like that kind of humor, as somebody who grew up on this channel. After saying that, I realized a lot about my sense of humor and the way I was raised. I could go on and on about this episode, but I'm not gonna lie, I've said everything I feel I could say. It's really great, there's a lot of funny moments here, and Hans is really cool to see here. The complete package. I loved it as a kid, and I still do to this day. Suds is an awesome episode with so many great scenes. From Spongebob slipping on ice to Patrick getting his special treatment, I think this is one of those episodes that's all around enjoyable, and that's really all I have to say about it. But something that's not enjoyable is being sick, and unfortunately, the sponge treatment and Patrick's special treatment can't help people feel better again. Believe me, I tried. 